Hello everybody, my name is Derek. Today, the 4th of April, 2010, I want to talk about a potential short squeeze rally and inflation on this video. What a short squeeze, what a short squeeze rally is, is where you have big money or big institutions who are covering many of their positions at one time, usually for the reasons of profit taking and or reducing losses. With silver at $17.89, I think that's a combination of both majority for reducing losses in my opinion. With that being said, when short squeeze rallies occur, often what happens is the technical indicators say it's time to go long, those who trade based on charts will go long, then the fundamentalists that are realizing that the short squeeze is coming to play well, they know how it works, so they're going to go long, that puts a lot of extra buying pressure to bring the price higher. And when that happens, you're going to get some volatility both towards the upside and the downside. We've seen silver for the last two years pretty much be choppy action. We've seen it go up to $21 and change in 2008 and uh, down to $9 uh, that same year. Therefore, we've seen it correct through time on a very violent, volatile uh, session. It had a nice move to the upside in 2005, 06, and 07, a correction through time for two years. It is very due to break out to the upside. And I've talked for so long for the reasons why, and it is a very safe investment if uh, you choose to do this. Safe as in what you, what you see is what you get. It's got these uses. It can't be worth nothing. That's what I mean by safe. Therefore, with that said, is that a good way to prepare for inflation or hyperinflation? And I'm a big believer of not putting all your eggs in one basket, meaning one of the baskets has silver. And what I like about silver is I could take any type of container for storage or save anything, and I could potentially put thousands of dollars worth of silver in this bucket. How many dollars worth of sponges could I put in this bucket? That's why I like its inventory cost ratio as a very, very good strategy. And you don't know what you're gonna need in a year from now or two years from now. Heck, you don't even know what you're gonna need sometimes for tomorrow. And the dollar, well, you don't know how long it's going to last. And heck, what's the dollar status going to be like in 2015? I don't think anybody really knows that. Therefore, Four months go by, two years go by, you're going to need whatever. You got silver to be able to get those items. And I'm a big fan of purchasing real assets, food especially, things that you know you're going to need, things that you feel have a good chance of being able to trade off later. That's what I talk about as far as investing in real assets. And there, where you, that's where you have all these different baskets. Whether it be food, and, the, and food, seeds. Seeds, they last a good couple of years, but you put them in the freezer, they last longer. If you go to the store, you buy like a heck of a lot of seeds. Once again, the storage of them is tiny for space, although you do need to have it cold for it to last. Flowers. As far as flowers are concerned, these are good, especially now because we have a, a problem with bees dying off. If you grow flowers, what this means is that you will help the uh, bee population with the pollination. But if you're growing uh, vegetables, you're going to need the bees for your vegetables. So you're going to want to have so many flowers along with so many different uh, kinds of foods. And that's my, that's my uh, guess, which actually is fact. It's my belief, I guess, and anyway, moving on. I want to talk about inflation and inflation.us. I'm not a member of that webpage. I have not spoken with uh, George any time recently. I have not spoken with Daniel in quite some time. I've never spoke with Jonathan Levitt as far as I know. And I happened to spend some time on their webpage today. Am I going to promote it? I'm going to tell you what I see. They say that they're there for preparing Americans for hyperinflation. And I would give them an A minus for preparing for them, preparing them for that. 
And I say A minus because there's a lot of great articles on that webpage, a lot of great charts on that webpage. But when they talk about their main About Us page, they say for preparing for hyperinflation, you got to get these stocks, these gold stocks, these silver stocks, these oil, food stocks. Now, as far as having many different baskets, I think it's a very good strategy to have stocks within them. After all, if the stock collapses or it doesn't work out for you, well, if you got 40 different baskets and two or three of them don't work out for you, big deal. But as far as preparing for hyperinflation, they do a very good job as far as information is concerned. But what I found very interesting about that page was there was not one single advertisement on that page. After all, George for title, I don't know how much he does to add content to it or not. The articles don't say who they are written by, but he is now a Google AdSense partner. And because of that, I find it very surprising how he hasn't thrown any of those advertisements on the page. When you look at the page, they weren't trying to sell anything. So I'm a little confused to why that page, like why, how George makes a lot of money within that page. Obviously, Mr. Levin is paying him to sponsor that page. That seems like a no-brainer. But how is Mr. Levin making money on that page? I have absolutely no idea. Some people say, well, it's because they want you to get stocks. Well, I got news for you. Getting regular individual Joes to buy stocks, that doesn't make much of a difference. I mean, I could be a stockholder for whatever company and say, oh, buy the stock, and then you're helping me out. Yeah, you're helping me out getting an extra penny or two on the sale. That's not much. So I'm really confused towards that page. Now, I don't know what anything happens to do with the newsletter. After all, it's been about 40, 60, 100 different times that George has said, sign up for the newsletter. Now, I've never signed up for it, so I don't know what you expect from it. But... Nonetheless, as far as my opinion from the page, it's got a lot of good information, a lot of good charts on there. I didn't really see too much. I didn't read every article, but I didn't see too much as far as buying so many different asset classes that I spoke of in my video eight months ago called Real Assets Investing. That's assets with an S. If you do a search for that, you will get a five-part series that uh, I did in 2009. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and have yourself a magnificent week. Bye-bye, everyone.